back to the North Carolina Sports Network. We are coming at you live from Charlotte, North Carolina at the 2023 ACC kickoff event. Our guest is a familiar face. He is now the eighth longest tenured head coach in major college football. This is year 11 in Raleigh for Dave Doran. He has led the Wolfpack to eight bowl invitations in the last nine seasons and led the pack to top 25 finishes in 2017 and 2021. You've been with us many times, Coach, not always on camera, but welcome back to the David Glenn Show. How Thanks for having me. I'm good. It's great to have you. Yeah. I looked up your bio. You've been in coaching for 30 years. You had never prior to NC State been in the same place for more than five years in a row. This is year 11. Yeah. You're, you, you and your wife have raised your three boys here. Yeah. How do you describe just the evolution of this becoming your home? Well, you know, when we were leaving Northern Illinois, we were hoping to find the right fit and a place that we could do that, not not have to move again. Climbing the ladder in college football requires you to move sometimes, and not that you always want to, but the opportunities sometimes, you know, that are presented give you that, you know, flexibility. And when we got here, we just fell in love with everything about it. You know, the, the geography, the state, the way the people uh, cared about the university, the fanfare, the recruiting base. Um, for me, just the outdoorsman's life that you have in this state, the country music, the food, it's just a great fit. And, you know, as you start to get opportunities, which we've had over the years here, you know, you just got to kind of look at it and, you know, is this really what's right for our family and is it what's right for our career? And ultimately, we've said no, you know, this is where we want to be. If I remember correctly, your boys would be somewhere from the late teens to the mid-20s. Do you get the sense that this is all they know? Or maybe they have some, your older ones may have some memories of other places, or is this all they think about as home? They do have memories, you know, uh, we actually talked about this this summer. So, you know, Jacob, our oldest, uh, who's a senior at App State, has some memories of multiple stops along the way, and Luke, uh, same with Wisconsin and, and uh, Northern Illinois. Connor, really, this is it, you know, it's what he remembers. Um, but I think, you know, all of them having the opportunity to go from middle school on um, has been amazing. December 2012 is when we first met you. Yeah. It sounds crazy. Long time ago. Uh, what do you know about Wolfpack Nation or the nature of being not just the head coach, but the Wolfpack head coach that maybe you did not fully understand the day we met you in December 2012? You know, I just think there's such a, a family feel to this fan base. Um, it's generation upon generation sometimes where the Grandpa, dad, son, all went to state, you know, and so this is more than just being a fan. There's there's some rich, deep roots in the state. Uh, it gets into the, the fabric of what people do for a living. I think there's a lot of pride in what NC State is and where it came from, you know, and, and, and I say this all the time, you know, it's it's a tough, hardworking group of people and, and an incredibly intelligent, successful group of people as well. So, yeah, I think the support that you get at NC State is unique in that it's not one sport. It's yeah. athletic department wide. And you can go watch multiple events and you have sellouts at wrestling, sellouts at swimming pools, sellouts at a tennis match, obviously football, basketball, women's basketball, baseball. So that's really cool for our athletes to have that kind of broad support. You have shared with us that your job description <clears throat> has gotten crazier with transfer portal and name image likeness. You probably don't have a lot of time to contemplate but through 10 years, what are you most proud of, of on or off the field? You know, I don't know if I have a singular thing. I think um, the number of players that we've impacted and helped develop on and off the field, and there's a story for each of them, you know, maybe one guy in life, one guy in academics, one guy in, in football. You know, I think just the ability to stay and, and be here this long and, and dig roots in the ground and, you know, recruit and graduate so many classes of kids, take that walk from signing day all the way to the NFL draft with some guys, you know, with Chubb and Icky, that was pretty cool to be able to do that for first round guys. Um, you know, some of the victories at home that, you know, will always resonate, the overtime wins and things like that. Um, and then, you know, the, the program that Sarah and I have started at the university, I mean, that's something that will probably have legacy ties to that forever. You mentioned Icky now with the Carolina Panthers, so not too far away. Part of your trademark really at NC State has been sending players to the NFL and the numbers back that up. How do you frame that, knowing that I would assume almost all of your signees have it as a goal, but in the back of your mind, you also know that only a percentage at any school are actually gonna realize that dream. 
Well, yeah, last year's stats came out as less than 1% mm. uh, of college football players signed a contract and were active on a roster on day one of the NFL season. So we're trying to develop them on and off the field for major reasons. 99% of them don't get that. You know, for us, we've had a lot of success getting guys into the league and, um, you know, ranked 17 in the last three years is what I just saw uh, that we've had drafted. And, We've won a lot of games. We're second league wins, you know, in the last three years as well. So you come here, you're going to play for a coach that's stable and play in a program that wins and play in a program that develops players that go to the NFL. Speaking of the NFL again, Naheem Hines was recently in the news. Yeah. I don't know how you can keep in touch with all of your former players, but he, he suffered an injury that's probably going to keep him out for the season. Have you been able to touch base? Yeah. Is he doing okay? Texted with him and his dad uh, the day the news broke. and, and uh, Praying for him, you know, he's definitely in a better place mentally than I probably would be. Talking about God's plan, and, and uh, I think that's awesome that he's leaning into that, uh, the spiritual side. But, you know, we feel for Naeem, and it sounds like it was a pretty free feel. But um, from what I understand, he's going to make a full recovery. Another Wolfpack headline that was sad recently was the passing of Dick Sheridan. Yeah. So I, I know your tenures were separated by a long time, so right. I, I don't know the nature of the relationship that you had. But what can you share about uh, that uh, sad headline from Wolfpack football? Yeah, you know, I had a couple opportunities to spend time with Coach. And, uh, you know, when, when people can say that no one has a bad thing to say about you, I think that's pretty rare. Yeah. And he's one of those kind of people, you know. And everybody that I've ever met that knew Dick or played for Dick uh, or high school coaches that had that relationship with them, just glowing reports, you know. And so what he did for the university and what he did for the profession, stands alone. You and I did another speaking engagement recently where you shared that with name image likeness, it's not the most fun, but you got to deal with it. And you're just hoping for a level playing field. Yeah. Uh, how do you put that into words? And, and do you feel like you as the coach have to kind of recruit Wolfpack Nation to make sure they're contributing beyond yelling and screaming and, and that's kind of support to that form of financial yeah. support? Well, we need everybody's support in that space. Uh, it is driven by dollars that are donated. That's the only way you can do it. And, you know, like I've said at many events, it's a way for you to help the roster. It's a way for you to help the young men individually. You can donate to programs on campus and to facilities and different things like that. This is a way to impact players' lives. And so it's huge in that space as far as the level playing field part of it. It's going to have to come from federal legislation because that's where it started. And each state, as you know, has different rules right now, and that makes it really hard on the NCAA to govern. So it's pretty disappointing, I think, that we're in the space we are. Um, it's not what NCA is supposed to be about. I know they didn't want this to be as it is, but we're trying to pick up the pieces and do the best we can for the athletes, and it's all we can do right now. You always seem to have a level head, but I'm going to hit you with one of your spicier quotes of okay. the last decade. Uh, congratulations, by the way, for those who don't remember, Coach Doran's record head-to-head -head against the Tar Heels, who, as you know, are here today. Uh, along with the Wolfpack. He's six and four, if I remember correctly, which is a pretty nice record to have. Going into last year's game, you were quoted on the TV broadcast as saying, we hate them, they hate us, they talk down about us, they don't like us, they're, they're kind of rude sometimes. How do you summarize that? Is that how you really feel? Do you ever even discuss that with Mac Brown or the UNC folks, or was that just game week stuff? No, it's a heated rivalry. Um, it's not about me and Mac. Like, he and I are good friends. Uh, cordial. I have great respect for him. I've known him since I was an assistant coach. It, this rivalry is not about the head coaches. It's about the fan bases that go back long, long ways and 30 minutes apart, the bragging rights that go with it. You know, as far as the comments, that's game week of a rivalry and we'll get there when we get there. But you know, right now we're just trying to get ready for practice. Last thing for Dave Doran joining us on the North Carolina Sports Network. Brennan Armstrong is your yeah. new quarterback. Brilliant two years ago at UVA, not as good last year at UVA. What do you think are the keys uh, as he reunites with Robert and I, your offensive coordinator? Well, I'm excited for Brennan. You know, I'm thankful that he gets the opportunity to kind of finish his career the way he wants to. You know, it's kind of unique. Um, I've now had this happen twice with Eli Drinkwitz and, and Finley. You know, Eli came here from Boise and then Ryan transferred. And so you get to see the kind of the coach on the field and how that helps your offense. Um, but to have somebody uh, with his experience and success uh, and his competitive spirit and the chip on his shoulder he has to get back to who he was two years ago, it's exciting, you know. And uh, 
He's been great with the players and great in the quarterback room. So we're, ha we're thankful he's here and excited for him. That's Dave Doran of NC State. Thanks to Coach Doran for dropping by. Annabelle Myers as well for squeezing him in. Uh, it's a long day for you, I know. Yeah, Thanks for making us a part of it. Go back. See you. Our trip to Charlotte, of course, is brought to you by our friends at the North Carolina Pork Council. You can learn more online at NC Pork, hashtag NC Pork, uh, or their website, ncpork.org. Thanks, of course, as always, to all of our other sponsors. Mike Waddell and I wouldn't be in Charlotte without them from our friends at King Neptune in Riceville Beach and Jimmy's Bar, the original Saltworks, great breakfast and lunch place right there in Wilmington, North Carolina. Our newest sponsor, Lawson Insurance Group, right there in Raleigh, the Lawson Brothers. Actually, two of the three Lawson Brothers are proud graduates of NC State. Uh, so happy, of course, to be able to sponsor our conversation with Dave Doran. We have a lot more coming your way. Remember to follow us on Twitter at the NC Sports Net. Check out our website, ncsportsnetwork.com. Again, thanks to Dave Doran for being a part of our 2023 ACC kickoff here at the North Carolina Sports Network.